What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up on last time, uh, we just had lots of fighting partially down here, down towards Hungary, and then some up here in the uh, area of Gdansk, and we've cleared out all German forces east of the river, of this river, whichever one it is. And we are ready to push on, but first, first before we do that, we need to go check our construction tabs. Because we've got a bunch of cash burning a hole in our pocket. Ooh, we also have you that are completed. Well, there we go. You know what's going to happen now? Well, I say that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Dagestan, Dagestan, Dagestan. All the protectorates going to get involved. So we're finally going to declare war on Savoy and the Italian states. And Denmark. So when we hit them, we're going to have to hit this army fairly rapidly. Um, because I would like to take out Malta, really. And use that as a forward base for my navy. I think that might be quite fun, especially as the army to build is all done. So I think now is the time. Minor nation. Knights of St. John. Declare war. Don't call our allies in. We've been joined by Dagestan. And let me just... Although that hasn't actually... It didn't call in Dagestan's protectorates. It just called Dagestan in. Ha! Huh. Who knew? I thought I thought protectorates were more or less considered like, you know, equivalent to the state in general. Um, let's march you on towards Dagestan then. Let's take you, this light galley, out. Let's take this navy that has been built. This Cairo force. Embark. And then this navy. Sail. I was about to say, oh no, the the, the combat zone. <laughs> but yeah, doesn't matter. Land my troops. Oh, come on, just land them. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why is it not letting me deploy them anywhere? Path blocked by another by another character. Well, it's not you, is it? Wait, look, I don't I really don't get why I can't why this isn't working. Because look, if I do that it wants to attack the port, but I can't obviously get in the port because it's being blockaded. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, so maybe this isn't going to happen. Okay, there maybe. Oh, that's so annoying. Why didn't? Why doesn't this happen? Why doesn't this happen on my Knights of St. John campaign? They can land well enough then. Right. I'm going to drop the recording here a minute so you guys don't have to witness any more of this. But I'm going to keep trying. So just a second, everyone. Okay. I've not tested it, but I've just realised uh, if I just take a fraction of my ships, blockade the port, remove their area of control, there they go. And then my guys can go like that. <laughs> then these guys are going to hit uh, the garrison. Which should be interesting, considering this is a very, very, very 
green army with a bunch of not necessarily the greatest of troops, but they do have lots of elites, which is pretty neat. Okay, let's keep our building craze in the Americas going. Start to really crank out more goods. Um, so yeah, we're at war with just... Just Dagestan and the Knights of St. John, which is pretty useful. Okay, let's keep... Okay, let's build the Sultan's Academy. That gets us some happiness. Upgrade the industrial mining complex. Yeah, you guys much. have finally got... You'll have some great guns, and I'm curious to know where they can be recruited from. Oh, actually, it's a military engineer school that gets those. I think the nearest one of those is probably... Yeah. Istanbul. Okay, well, let's churn out a bucket load of great guns and start to roll them out to the fleet to help crack open some of these... Uh, so these towns. I mean, I've probably built way too many. I'm probably going to put one great gun in each army, but damn, that looks pretty neat. Um, okay, one more turn to get unpreserved foods. Command share, like I said, you're, you're looking fairly vulnerable. Actually, let's keep upgrading. Keep upgrading the military buildings down here in Persia, because at some point this will become our new front line. Well, partially our new front line uh, against the Mughal Empire. So I'm glad I've got this little navy here. Although they're all admirals third rate. So let's take you guys, demote you. There we go. These guys are enough to help protect that pass. Let's get the great states done. Good stuff. Okay, Baghdad's really starting to earn some wealth. Um, okay, apart from that, I don't think there's any immediate battles I want to fight. I want to kind of more see what they do. Because lots of forces here are just replenishing <laughs> after being pounded and pounded and pounded and pounded and pounded. Uh, you could probably do with recruiting a Semini. Then they can go sit here in Gdansk Harbour. Ah, uh, yeah, you're starting to crank out the ships. Yeah, don't worry, you're done for. We're going to cut you off from reinforcements, matey boy. But let's hit in turn. As our priests and spies wander on, there go our great guns going all the way up towards St. Petersburg. But again, same plot as you. Ooh, do I want to intercept? I don't like the fact I can... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, no, it's a couple of full stacks. No. <laughs> um, so same drill as last time. I'm going to chop the recording when it gets towards the Prussian end turn because, well, actually, last time it wasn't that bad. It was pretty pretty normal. We helped thin, we helped thin them out a bit and we've also uh, given them a bit of um, motivation, to actually combine their armies together. Let's actually let you go see this for once. Obviously they're just pumping troops out from the west to send eastwards. Um, but they should be starting to experience some quite difficult economic times. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Berlin's going to be a tough nut to crack. There is a lot of a lot of uh, forces sat there, which does mean, which does suggest that I need to keep um, recruiting my own replacement forces to slot into the line. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought they were going to sail into Gdansk Harbour. It looks like we've got another fleet that's probably going to auto-resolve. It's probably going to uh, sit in one of our... Or, yeah. 
Don't do it. Okay, they've landed behind the lines at Riga, which is completely understandable, realistically. Um, but that does mean they've weakened their forces up near Berlin to perform that amphibious assault. They have... So rather than having a stack and two full stacks nearby to provide support near Berlin, they've now just got the garrison and one stack, and that's it. Oh, be careful where you wander down south, Prussia. You wander and dance within range of one of my bridges. By God, I'll slaughter you. So we're going to have to embark an army to help deal with that uh, Prussian incursion. Oh, the Mughals have declared war on us. Okay. Britain did not join us. And I'm actually okay with that. Because that gives us liberty to attack their possessions in the in in the Americas. They own most of the continental continental Americas. So that gives us all that. So, if we're at war with the Mughals, then, well, it gives us access to Trinidad and then landing on towards Florida to gain a foothold in the Americas. So, if they try and attack through here, we've got a good... Okay, you build forces to defend. You guys build some Mamelukes. Build a camel unit. Let's pick up some foot, foot artillery units. Good job I actually started recruiting when I did. Get some January musketeers. Get some Mr. Rayleigh. Baghdad can't really help. Uh, you guys put Dagestan under siege. Upgrade some of these industrial buildings here. So we've still got good visibility over their uh, over their land. No, but didn't mean to hop over like that. Get down to India. So we've lost some trade, but we're down to seventy-six grand. Let's pick up some third-rate ships of the line to help defend against any incursions from their fleets. And then, let's probably take this army. March them out of the territory. They're okay without us. Let's recruit some Muslim. Sell you on to Demerara. Embark the army. Sell this four three on. Ooh, maybe not onto tri Oh, I don't know. Actually, these might. Yeah, these are all just. Oh, mostly they're just garrison. They're just um local. Local forces. Okay, maybe sail on to Curacao. Sail on to Curacao. And let's get another... Okay, let's take our... Hmm. I don't really need this fourth right here, so you can guard Demerara. Take these ships up here, and then let's raid the Mughals here in Trinidad. Our main focus of effort, though, does have to be Berlin. So they've landed a full stack back here, and it looks like it's a fairly good one. No full armies are in immediately in the area to reinforce. 
Your control zone does extend to the port, which is unfortunate. We can take... Well, we can take you. What navy is this as well? Got a few heavy firsts in it, so I wouldn't necessarily want to go toe for toe. You can sail to here. Disembark. The army, we won't be able to protect the city, but we will be able to recapture it, which is something at least. Uh, where's your Muslim unit? Maybe you can get into Gdansk. Upgrade it to a trade port. We are still replenishing the most bulk of our forces. Let's get our agent over here first and begin to start converting the population towards Islam. I mean... The road is open towards Prague, if we so want. But you do need replenishment. And you're not necessarily the army we want to be holding uh, the town behind us. You can move up and take the fort. You guys can push up, and you probably want... I've got two melee infantry, probably get two units of good cavalry. Two units of Sipahi, then probably two units of more elite infantry. And I'll take Janissary Musketeers. I don't really... Oh, it's annoying, really, if they got to do this. You guys keep replenishing. You guys have to replenish as well. So you here, you... Okay, you're recruiting the reinforcements for them, so let's also get Delhi Horseman, two Sipahi, two Janice Musketeers, and let's get some Riskers of Souls for your own army. Keep upgrading, up to 74 grand. You guys can recruit some artillery and some howitzers. It took five turns to get to get heavy guns over here and let's probably get a good unit of infantry I think that would be a good idea don't want hand mortars because they kind of suck Royal Janus Infantry Guards it's a shame they'll take so long to get up into position but you guys are replenished there's a sixth rate that looks like it's probably going to Attempt to frustrate our trade efforts. Let's just auto resolve with him. Eh, didn't kill him. But we haven't uh, diverted attention of all of our ships to do so. Let's so get back here. Find him. Than you. Um, well, let's go capture uh, Valletta. Let's go fight, hopefully, fight the correct Siege of Malta. I would like to send, but I want to use Tunis as, as a base, a Springbanch armies up into southern France, then provide more fronts. Okay, let's drop our there let's drop our artillery using quick climb ok 
Okay, these four units are going to go through the front. This cavalry and a mount mounted Nizam are going to go around the rear. Okay, you do actually hide in there. That's pretty neat. But let's go right as far around the back as possible. Probably still back out of range of their guns. So let's check out the Mountainism, because I haven't used them yet. Yeah, they look alright. The colours are different and nice, I suppose. And here's my general. You fellas work on that front gate. Good stuff. We'll soon make our way in. Let's hoover the Maltese got back here. Pikemen. Nice and old school. Lots of regiment of horse. But yeah, we want to... Uh... Make sure our guns get us in. Which it looks like they will. One of you hit the fourth, the other one hit the fifth. And then let's speed up time because it is just an artillery blasting game. Here come the quick lime. Oh man. Down to 15. Okay, switch target. We've only got 18 pounders to knock a hole in the wall rather than 24. Gunners, the field, the field artillery, field artillery is still engaging the way I want it to, which is nice. Obviously, these guys are sat up here waiting, looking at all of those troops that are sat there waiting for the final attack order. Eh, don't worry, their time will come. Just get one of these guys to start. Dropping round shot in the centre, rather than quick climbing everyone. Although I want to see... Okay, hold on. Shots are inbound. Shots are in flight. A lot of horse screams. Oh yeah, we didn't actually give the Cairo Janissaries a good look. And they do look pretty neat, to be fair. What are their stats like? So compared to Israeli, they are significantly more accurate, load significantly faster, have the same amount of ammo. They've got more charge bonus, more defense, more morale. Obviously, it's upkeep, these guys are too <laughs> Israeli. let the field artillery make a breach. There we go. The breach is made, so one quick climb unit, you guys keep attacking the uh, you guys keep attacking the uh, units going to guard the breach. also begin pushing out our forward battalion. There's a lot of men here. You quick line them. So you I still want you to start to drop start dropping round shot into this packed square of artillery. No, cavalry. I'm a dumb dumb. So what I want is to get an infantry unit around to capture the gate so I can pour camels into there. Because my camels would love to meet all these horses. They would love it. 
obviously these men are looking very they're not too happy because they're stood in front of the uh, 211 bodies of their comrades That, look at that militiaman that died in a very uncomfortable position. More round shot coming into the centre. Oh. That's what you like to see. Okay. Waters are inbound. Mr. Rayleigh, cover the cover the gate. Two infantry in there. Let's get a Cairo Janissary up on the walls there. Again, Israeli up on the walls there. Quick climbing howitzer hit. The third regiment. run these guys up to provide fire against the breach okay let's keep one unit of camels here in case they get charged let's get the other two units around the flank These men are charging. You want to charge outside the front gate. You drop into square immediately because they're about to start. They're about to start. Run my cavalry because they're about to start running through the other gate. God, they are sailing out the front. There you go. Deploy my. Attempt to deploy my Israeli into square. Get my camels in here. Okay. The Cairo Janissaries are losing. Yeah, here they come. Here comes the cavalry. I'm quite sure why these fellows have decided to uh, sit out front. There we go, the gates are ours. So they're now going to have to be forced to push out through the other gatehouse. Just keep climbing the wall. Look at these poor souls here. Where's our quick climbing? Quick climbing howitzer. Drop a good shot on the centre there and they're done. Our other unit can keep dropping round shot onto the... Onto the... Um, uh, the pikes. So if I can, I'd like to get my camels up against this regiment of horse. 
you guys up your own set of steps. No, I want you guys up on the wall. Square. These men are all also rushing to get up the top. So the camels should be doing great work, although, to be honest, there's just a lot of them. shot pikes both of you royal cairo infantry guards in you go you guys run along here leading the way he's wandered over and gone ah there's no one here oh big route big chain route oh, camel's routed oh, here come the pikes guys just run down and engage these janissaries can get down there these Cairo janissaries can do stuff you guys can run in stay away from them pikes you guys stop firing you're just killing all your infantry guards in, kill the general, although the general's already dead. Okay, you guys run on to the to the guns. Serrae is going to go in to help my camels by taking out the remaining knights. His weakened unit of janissaries. You guys are going to take forever to get up on the wall? So just using two uh, just using two boarding thingies There we go. Our janissaries have hit their gunners. Come on, lads, kill him. Attacking them. God, how many men left are there on these guns? Okay. They're not bugged, but. They are not uh, completely there. Let's 
So let's just let my man get into position and then they will execute him. The cavalry is going to go try and hit these men outside the gates. Although, to be honest, it does not look like they're going to be around for very long. The mountain is then finally getting involved. potentially be the thing that breaks them all. Okay, the last three men in this particular unit are down to... Uh, or up to two experienced chevrons. They've got a couple of really experienced men. Oh, if you just kill that last regiment of horse, dude. Yeah, the ja Cairo Janissaries do have fire by rank. That's pretty good. Um, although it's definitely going to come down to a timeout. Because, well, I, th I imagine it's because I've got more guys in the centre than they do. They've only just got the one, so our noob superiority of these four guys is still enough. But I was hoping to just shoot it. But there we go. Heroic victory, and the Ottomans have to, which is pretty damn awesome. Let's get into port. Let's repair their royal palace, and then let's replenish our men. They will never like us. Um, however, that is not the point. We've now got. Well, yeah, they're definitely gonna hop onto Tunis capture the city and then well they're gonna be a bit exposed well, not exposed per se but ooh, the swedish at war with the prussian with the prussians no they're allied with the prussians don't worry we'll take care of you soon real soon oh did i not did i not Okay. I found them. Oh, these guys have taken a unit of Semini with them. Well, in reality, it should be March. these guys. Although, yeah, if I had no artillery support, I could get there. But I want artillery support. So you guys march on. <laughs> Do what you need to do. You guys take position here. But I think what I'm going to do is hop over to Dagestan. Oh no, they're not in range. Ah. Dang it. Uh, okay. I mean, some of these universities are really just researching tech. It's just too high for them. Instead of doing 20 for top gallants, instead do 17 for shrapnel shot I suppose um, there's nothing else that's worth getting that's low tier yeah, we've done all this stuff yeah, yeah let's go hit Curacao but looking at the timer I believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the assault on Curacao and the creation of the first or uh, one of the, well, yeah, probably the first uh, Madrasa and Islamic school in the Americas. Radio. Cheers, guys.